Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. Hope all of you are well with your family. Welcome back to school. Congratulations. All of you have already completed your primary education and got promoted to Square High School and College. So welcome to our Square High School and College. Let's introduce myself to you. This is Mominul Islam, Assistant Teacher, Square High School and College. Today, in our English second part, we discuss on article, especially uses of a and and. Let's start. In our previous classes, I think you have got some idea about the use of article. Before starting this chapter, let's try to know what do you mean by article. The words a and and the are usually called articles. Then you may have a question how many kinds of article? The answer is that there are two types of articles definite article and indefinite article when a article is represents or indicates fixed something it's called definite article and the is called definite article and indefinite article a and and let us know in details uses of a and an if there is a consonant at the very beginning of a word, you have to use a. For example, I have a pen. Here, pen, the very word is consonant p. For that reason, we use here a. Let's see another example. She has a beautiful garden. Here, b is also consonant and sounds like a consonant. For that reason, we use here a. I think you are you are clear of this rule rule two if a word start with a vowel letter then you have to use an let's see the example i saw an apple on the table here a is a vowel letter for that reason we use here and let's see another example an ideal student never shine in life here I is also consonant, not consonant, it's a vowel for that reason we use here and let's see the third rule. Consonant sounds as vowel. That means when there is the consonant at the beginning of the word, but this consonant later sounds like a vowel, then you have to use there and let's see the example. She is an M B B S. Her father was an LLB. Here, the word MBBS and first letter is M. M, you know, M is consonant, but here M sounds like a vowel. For that reason, we use here N. The same case, her father was an LLB. L, the consonant sounds like a vowel. For that reason, we use here N. But let's see the Next example, she is a BA in Bangla. BA, B consonant and sounds like a consonant. For that reason, we use here A, not N. I think you are clear. Let's see another rule. Rule 4, U sounds as U or U. Then you have to use there A. For example, a European, a university, a uniform, a unique idea, a useful animals, etc. Let's see in the sentences. Pen is a useful thing. Here, you sounds like you. For the reason we use here, a. Uh, let's see the next rule. Rule 5. A is at the beginning of the word but sounds like a vowel then you have to use an let's say the example 
he is an honest man honest the first word the first letter of this word is a's but this a's sounds like a vowel honest for that reason we use here and let's see another example please complete the work in an hour not hour it's hour for that reason we use here an clear let's see the another rule rule six a's sounds as a's or like consonant that means when at the very beginning of the word there will be a's and this a's sounds like a consonant then you have to use a for example mr robin had a horse a house and a horse house here a's consonant and sounds like a consonant for that reason we use here a let's see next rule when a abstract noun is used as common noun you have to use a let's see the example then you will be clear she was a beauty here beauty is you know beauty is abstract noun but here beauty is used as common noun for that reason we use here a let's see the next rule when proper noun is used as common noun then you have to use a let's see the example you are a nose rule i see you know nose rule is the name of a famous poet for that reason it's a proper noun but here proper noun is used as common noun for that reason we have to use here a i think you are clear next see the next rule always use a before the word one that's mean in every places where you see the word one then you have to use a before the word one let's see the example i saw a one-eyed man this a uh, one taka note here the very word one they for that reason we have used their a let's see the next rule and it is this is the last rule of use a and n rule 10 you have to use a before some phases there are some phases and this sums this kind of phase always take the article a let's see the example now he is in a temper i was in a fix then they left the room in a body in a temper in a fix in a body all are phrases and this and such kind of phrases always takes the article a ah, i think all of you are clear about the use of a and n if you face any difficulty you can knock me in the group i am always here so please pick up the rules with example in your hw copies and exercise from your english grammar book any english grammar book you can practice from there if you face any difficulty please knock me thanks a lot remain safe and sound